say no to capital punishment on captured criminals. We don't want a country where government officials becomes judges and law themselves. We have the innocents and we have the victims of the crimes and we have criminal acts that assumes people's innocence until court determine criminals' fate and serve justice accordingly. Our law enforcement agencies such as police, army and public prosecution are to bring the criminals before the court as only accused with an assumption of their innocent until proven guilty in court of law. Criminals have rights to plea guilty or not guilty, whatever their plea is, the scale of justice will determine the fate, that's the country we all deserves and should aim to build. The idea of applying guerrilla attitudes of killing and find out the truth later is invalid and is against our human rights collectively. We want a country that respect and preserves human rights because at some point one of us or one of our relatives may commit a crime intentionally or unintentionally and in that situation I'm sure that you the reader of this post if you are a relative to the perpetrator I'm sure you wouldn't want to see your relative get killed none of us would want that. Maybe from the perspective of the victim's family it may feels alright to them to see the killer of their sons or daughter get killed. Or cattle raider get killed, but from your perspective as a relatives to the criminal the feelings could never be the same, you would want mercy. Also, many scholars did a research on the capital punishment and they found that capital punishment does not deter crime in the United States, some states that enforce capital punishment, the crime rate has increased in their respective states. The law experts also learned that often such harsh penalty can be misused by some corrupt leaders against the citizens and their opponents and critics. We the people of South Sudan need to think critically about such outlaw capital penalty in our society. It's understandable that some states such as Lake State and Warap State may have been facing some communal conflicts and random robbery which needs prompt action and solution, but killing criminals who committed killing crimes or robbery without a lawful trial is morally not right, especially if they are being caught already. When caught or surrendered they should be trial and let them know about their crime otherwise this is the proof of authoritarian regime that used death penalty to create fear of the government not the law. If the criminals refused to surrender themselves and they got killed during exchange of fire with law enforcement officers in that situation their death is justified, no one deserve instant death when they are held captive. Believe me, such unwritten laws of capturing the criminals and fire squad them, such powers can be abused against innocents and maybe even you who supported such approach one day, I'm sure you will not like it then. The law is blind therefore we must acknowledge that and set a proper structure to enforce rule of law, because if we are not careful, some government officials may misuse these harsh penalty to frame the innocence people they don't like and illuminate them. Anywhere in the world laws are not necessarily meant to punish people within an angry manner, laws are rather designed to correct people and direct people towards a better and safer society, that's why prisons are known as correction centers and courts are also a place that educate criminals about wrong of the criminal actions and its reward the good citizens who is abide by the law, meaning the people who did the right things. We deserve a society of equal rights and justice for all. By Deng Duan aka Prince Deng.